two brains, or engaging and energizing two brains. We talked about that this morning. Two brains can figure this thing out more than one brain can, so I need two. <coughs> we talked about don't put pressure on yourself. You're not that creative when you put pressure on yourself. We talked about consciously putting your coaching hat on and assuming that role. And then go into lead with a question, follow with the reflection. Talk about that habit. Then telling is not teaching in some cases where we need to teach. Right? So we go into the teaching mode. That was our first one. And she was not going to take that monkey. She was teaching him how to handle it and organize it, helping organize his thinking. Why do we have to explain the why to adults? You've got to have meaning. And you know when you were 16 and you borrowed the car, maybe 17, you bothered your father's car and he said, be back at 10 o'clock. And you said, why? What did he say? Because I said so. <laughs> Every time we don't tell the why, it sounds like the father or mother is going, because I said so. No why is necessary. I'm the parent, and you're not. That's your unfortunate situation. <laughs> Same in the workplace. I'm the boss, and you're not. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> you just do as I say. It's fun. This is a fun job. <laughs> you peon. And it's also helping, uh, just to wrap up, Think about right now, today, how many, how much work is getting done with you all in here. <laughs> if I look at how many calls I'm getting, yeah. enough work is getting done. That's good, you know. Or, you know, they're calling you because they don't know what to do. <laughs> Some of them, yes. Yeah. So it's good for you not to be there once in a while because you'll see who it is that needs more coaching and who needs less. Because everybody, some need more, some need less, but everybody needs a coach. Remember the stair steps, right? If, if we just focus on the people who are getting a lot of money or we're focusing on the people who get no money, hardly any, everybody needs coaching. Every single person needs coaching. But money, we found, is not going to be the source of their motivation. Money is like fifth on the list of motivation. First is, is interesting work. Second, and sometimes first, is they better appreciate me. If they don't appreciate me, I'm leaving. I'll go somewhere where somebody appreciates me. Third down is, is more about what? What do you think? Some people want to be trained and educated. I want to learn something on the job. I want to develop. Self-satisfaction. Self-satisfaction. Remember here it was, I want to be self-directed. So I need to be self-satisfied with my work. Then comes promotion and, and money. So we have to be paid. It's just, everybody has to be paid, but we want it to disappear as a factor. I don't get... I'm not overpaid, I'm not underpaid, I'm paid. I have, I have what I deserve at this job. And we have to work harder in Romania to get up to normal. We're not in normal yet. Uh, but everybody's not in normal. So we'll, we have to, as a society, move that up to normal. Help them prioritize their work. Express sufficient appreciation. What is this one? No feedback is feedback. It might mean you don't care about me. You don't give me feedback. What else does it mean? Everything is fine. You know what? No one loses it. Mm -hmm. So no feedback from you is feedback. They begin to try to guess what you mean. Correct? What about your expectations? I say you, they live up or down to them. How powerful are you? 
and your expectations. If you expect highly and you believe it, they will deliver. If you expect little, they will deliver that just for you. Right? So if you have low expectations of somebody, that's all you want, that's what I need. If I start raising the standards, raising the standards, raising the standards, they have to come. They will come. But your expectations are, the research says, hugely important. The way you coach them and manage them, you can have them delivering 10 to 20 times or 10 to 20 times less than they could be productive or 10 to 20 times more productivity. Either way, 20 years of research says, depending on you as a coach, they can be either more productive or less productive. So your skill as a coach really matters. 10 to 20 percent. Or 10 to 20 times, not percent. I talked about treating people differently. Don't jump the solution. I talked about you never firing anybody. Oh, here's a good one. Praise progress, not perfection. If you wait till somebody gets it perfect, you'll still be waiting. Right? So we praise progress. You're making progress. Good. Don't wait. We talked about getting results may take more than one coaching session. You might have to call a timeout. Go do research. Come up with some ideas. Go find out what other teams are doing. And then come back. So let them do research. They cannot change what they do not acknowledge. Remember I said, get them to say something. Like, what do you need? What will happen to you if you don't change this behavior? What's the consequence? Correct? The coachee has answers hidden in their awareness, assist in revealing them. What, what reveals answers? Questions. Good questions. Wow, looking at you, you can tell it's 4.30 in the house.